In this video guide I'm going to quickly show you how to install and get up and running with Nvidia's new Shadow Play feature for the GeForce experience. Now it's worth noting that you need at least a GeForce 660 GTX or above for this to work. So to get up and running first of all head over to the GeForce website forward slash GeForce experience or just google GeForce experience and click on the first link. Download the GeForce experience by clicking on the download now button obviously install the file that you've downloaded should be around 22 megabytes now the GeForce experience itself is a application that has settings for games and allows you to configure games as to best work with your Nvidia graphics card however what we're looking for is the shadow play button which is in the top right hand corner of the GeForce experience application if you click on that it will load up the GeForce shadow play box slash window um, with all the options for shadow play. Now on the left there's the on off button which will make sure that shadow play is either active uh, in which case it's on all the time and when you push the button it'll, it'll do a shadow play recording or if it's off it's completely off and it doesn't matter what you do um, it's as if you haven't even got shadow play installed so make sure that's clicked on and everything's lit up you have a mode button that allows you to choose between if you're going to use shadow play as the shadow recording where it records um, or it dumps a file to your hard drive of the previous couple of minutes of gameplay or if you're using it like fraps where you're just recording everything you've got the shadow time button which allows you to set the amount of time that the shadow play recording will record for and you can choose between one to ten minutes for that you've got the quality which lets you set the actual end result quality of the video now the different quality settings don't impact the amount of performance hit whilst you're using your game but it will mean that your recordings will be a larger file size um, which will mean that the file takes longer to upload and it will take up more hard drive space each time you do a shadow play recording but generally I, I like to leave mine on high and the last option is audio which lets you choose if you want to record sound or not but I'll leave that on by default then if you click on the preferences button you can bring up the file location for your shadow play recordings and you can cho choose any hard drive for this and shadow play will automatically put each game uh, recording in a folder for the corresponding game that recording was done in as you can see here I've got a couple of folders from games that I did some recordings with earlier um, and then below that you can choose the shortcut keys one shortcut for constant recording as if you're using fraps and you wanted to record everything and one shortcut for the shadow play button so you push that and it will create a file on your hard drive with the last two to uh, one to ten minutes of gameplay hopefully that goes over the the features for you and gets you up and running with shadow play if you want to see how shadow play compares to fraps and uh, see a general overview video that I've done about Shadowplay, please click here. Um, thanks for watching.